In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step and showing you how you can get dividend data in Google Sheets, along with a lot of other cool dividend metrics such as dividend yield, record date, payment date, ex dividend date, and declaration date, and things like payout ratio as well if you choose to do so. So let's go ahead and jump in, and you can see an example over here. We have some companies listed, and we have the amount they pay out in dividends listed as well. And what's really cool, for example, we come up here and decide we want to look at a different company. Let's say that we want to look at maybe AT&T. I'll plug in the stock ticker and hit enter. And you can see the data right here is going to automatically load in. We now have AT&T's dividend. If we change it back to Microsoft, again, the data is going to automatically load in. So this is an automated way to get dividend data into your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So in order to pull in all these different metrics straight into our spreadsheet, you're going to need the ticker data add-on in Google Sheets. So if we come up here to extensions, you can see I have the ticker data add-on right here. All I would do is click log in and then refresh my sheet and I'm going to be able to automatically pull all these metrics. So again, you can make a ticker data account at tickerdata.com at the link in the description. So again, for example, if I come up to extensions and I want to refresh all of these. I can just come down here and click refresh and we'll click refresh all. And you can see all these metrics will automatically load in once again and we have the dividend metrics. So let's talk about how to do this. Let's come over here and select a stock KO and then of course we want the dividend. I'll just write this out over here. What we can do is use the ticker data function to automatically pull this in. So once you've made your ticker data account, you're going to get access to the ticker data function right here. So I'll click on ticker data. We also have ticker data live. I'll click on ticker data and then I can come up here and select my stock. I'll add a comma, come over here and select the metric that I want. I want dividend. And then if we want, we can select the year that we want to see the dividend for. So not only current dividend data, but historical dividend data. Let's say I want to see dividend metrics from 2015. I can type in 2015 right here and hit enter and you can see the dividend metric is going to automatically load in and you can see the dividends for coca-cola is going to automatically load in this is how much i paid out in 2015. what if i want to go ahead and see the dividend in a different year again i could come up here let's say i want to see it in 2005 going way back 20 years i'll hit, two, I'll hit enter and we can see it was one dollar and twelve cents and so this is easily automated for example now if i select a different stock such as verizon this data is going to automatically update once again. So what's really cool about this again, we can automate this entire process. So if we don't want to type in the year right here, I'll come over here and again, select the year and hit enter. We have our three metrics and this will automatically update. We can take it a whole nother step forward. Let's say I want to know how much they paid out in dividends in a different quarter. If we'll go ahead and come over here, let's say we want to see in Q4, how much do they pay out in dividends? All we'd have to do is come back up here to our formula and select Q4. So we have Verizon, we have dividend, 2023 in Q4, I'll hit enter. And again, you can see this data is going to automatically load in. This is how much Verizon paid out in Q4. What if I want to look at a different metric? Maybe I want to look at something like the payout ratio. Now I can just change this metric here to payout ratio and hit enter. And you can see this is going to automatically update and we'll do it as a percentage. And again, we can see payout ratio. Maybe we don't want to see the quarter this time. Maybe we just want to see the year. I'll hit enter. And we can see Verizon's payout ratio in 2023 was 94.93%. Let's take things a step further. Maybe I don't want to just look at dividend data. Maybe I actually just want to know what the dividend yield for a company is. Well, since dividend yield is a metric that's live, it changes on a daily basis. As the price changes, what we can do is come down here and use the ticker data live function. Again, it's live data, so we'll use the ticker data live function. We'll come over here and select Verizon. And then what we can do is we want is just type in dividend yield right here. And I'll hit enter. And you can see we have the dividend yield. Come up here and make it a percentage. And the starting dividend yield for Verizon right now is sitting right at 7%. So let's look at all these other dividend metrics we can easily look at as well. Again, we use the ticker data function. Easily pull this in. We'll select Microsoft. Come over here and select our metric. We want 2023 and Q1 in this example. And I'll hit enter. And we can see Microsoft's dividend in Q1 of 2023 was 68 cents. So if we go ahead and come up here, let's go ahead and anchor these others in. If we just go ahead and drag this formula down so it can pick up these other metrics right here, we can see all this data is going to automatically load in. So we can see the payout ratio, 26.3%. We can see the declaration date, the ex dividend date. We can also see the payment date. And one of the things we can also see is the record date. So let's come down here and add record date. And again, we can just drag this formula down 
and get this automatically into our spreadsheet. So we have all kinds of different dividend metrics that we can pull in easily into our spreadsheet with over a 30 year time history. We can pull it in for the current year. We can pull it in for history. We can pull it in on a quarterly basis as well. And what's really cool with ticker data is it's not only for US stocks, it's for international stocks as well. For example, if we look at ticker data's documentation and look at all the available exchanges, they have exchanges from all across the world, over 70 exchanges from Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Canada. You can see the entire list right here. The list goes on and on. But perhaps the coolest part is you can pull in a company's entire dividend history with one easy metric. So for example, come over here again, we'll use the ticker data function. Let's say we wanna look at Microsoft and we wanna look at their entire dividend history. I'll just do Microsoft dividend and then not even plug in a year. I'll close this in and hit enter and you can see it's loading in and almost immediately we get the date, adjusted dividend, dividend, record date, payment date, and declaration date. And we have this data going back for many, many years, going all the way back to when this company actually started paying out dividends. Again, you can easily pull this entire thing straight into your spreadsheet with one simple, easy function, ticker data, Microsoft dividend. So there you go. That's how you can easily pull dividend data straight into your Google spreadsheet. If you'd like to get the ticker data add on Google Sheets or see a tutorial on how to get into your spreadsheet, you can head over to tickerdata.com or go over to the Ticker Data YouTube channel. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.